welcome to January 17th edition of Acts of Faith by Iyana Van Zandt. I am Mazi Oso Tufara, your messenger for today. If you have not went out to grab this book already, go and do so. What are you waiting on? It's a good investment for your life. All right, so let me show you the cover. It's known as the purple book, the miraculous book, you name it, you get the book and you name it. So, today, January 17th, we'll read an intro, we'll read a passage, and we'll read a close. Let me also show you how little time this can take you and how much it can help you. For those of you who love to read, it's a breeze, all right? For those of you who do not fancy reading, it's very easy, it's very simple. You see it, one page, very short, very, very short, but very, very, very powerful. All right, so let us begin, shall we? In the solitude of your mind are the answers to all the questions about life. You must take the time to ask and listen. This intro is written by Bawa Mahayai Bin. There are times when we all feel as if we need to be alone. We just want to get away from everyone and everything and be alone. Now, if you look at this passage, it just rolls right into being alone, telling you how you can be alone from January 16th passage about being able to sit in a sacred place and be alone. So this is just telling you that I am just like you. You are just like me. There's other people in the world. Sometimes we just want to be alone. This is to help you understand you better, that there are others in the world who want to be alone sometimes. So don't feel embarrassed or ashamed or withdrawn or isolated or rejected when you just want some time alone. Anyone around you should respect that, all right? So as far as me and my household, we hardly ever say, I need time to myself. I want to be alone, you know, all of those things. We just create healthy spaces, healthy boundaries, all those kind of things by, um, we pray together, like over our food when we wake up and going to bed and those stuff. Um, individually, we go throughout our day and we pray. We just take the time and pray. Those are being alone times and those are sacred times. Uh, we never had to plan out a schedule. There were times when um, we went through a season. I don't recommend it, but we went through a season. It happened sometime where we were just busy on the road. We'll pray while we're on the road. We'll pray when we're coming back home from the road. Pray over our food. And while we're like, say, in the shower, our in our individual restroom time, we're praying and stuff. Now, we're in a place where we have a particular area where we go and individually pray and it's great. It's just great, we just do it. Um, so, there are times, normal times when you fellowship and be in the, um, let's say, the gathering together. And there are other times when you just want individual time and we have to all honor that. If you live in a household where you have to say, hey, let's create this time. Let's plan it out. Go on and do so. You will gradually be able to walk in a natural space where it just happens. It just flows. Okay. So back to the passage. Sometimes we may feel guilty or selfish for thinking this way, but it is perfectly normal. Think about it. It is perfectly normal, all right? Your alone time, your sacred space is to get yourself 
confident to pull yourself together, your thoughts together, pull your heart together. Hmm? Sometimes we may look all around us and we may look for answers all around us, but even Bob Marley said, everyone has the answer and the truth lives within. We may look for strength all around us, but the strength is within you guys. So with that being said, it's perfectly normal to want to be alone and have your sacred space sometime. Remember that. To be alone is the best thing we can do for ourselves. To be alone means to be all alone, one with the spirit within. When we are alone, we have opportunity to get in touch with, to talk to and be guided by our power source. Spirit. To be alone means to To be alone means to be sorry. To be alone means going to the essence your being. Let's read that again. Spirit, to be alone means going to the essence of your being, to ask questions within and get clear, concise answers. To be alone means taking the time to give to yourself a small portion of what we have been giving ourselves for so long. It is like drinking from the fountain of restoration to bring back your physical, mental, and spiritual health. So go ahead, tell them all, and don't feel bad about saying it. I want to be alone. Today, I am all one with the spirit within. This is our close. Today, I am all alone with the spirit within. Today, I am all alone with the spirit within. Now, you see me making these videos, posting these videos. Do you see me with a crowd of people? Do you see anyone else in this room on this video? There is not one. I am alone with you guys. I'm telling you, it helps. First things first. If you do not feel like you can be alone, or you're afraid to be alone, or like the book says, if you feel guilty or selfish for thinking this way of being alone, that is the first step. Overcoming that and accomplishing being alone. Some of us may go sit in our car with the door open, with the door closed. Some of us may go in a restroom. Some of us may go in a shower. Some of us may go in a closet. Some of us may go in the living hall. Some of us may just go sit outdoors on the patio or the balcony. Some of us may go down to the river. You just never know. Don't be afraid to be alone. I encourage you to thoughts, how you can hear your, hear and feel your inner spirit. Just take the time and do it. It is very, very, very important and it can keep you healthy. It can keep you more vibrant. It can keep you energized and it can keep you living a long time. So a song came across my mind just now. A young girl, I can't recall her name, but she's basically saying, I'm not supposed to be here, you know, she's just at a party, she'd rather be home, all those kind of things, and I love the song, it's a great
I don't know who exactly the person is right now, but I will find the song. I will put a link in the description so you guys can enjoy that song as well. So, without further ado, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for commenting. Most of all, leave a comment. Are you afraid? Are you feeling guilty? Are you feeling selfish for wanting to be alone? Have you overcome that? Talk to me. I appreciate your positive comments, your learning, and your growing. Thank you yet again. One love, people.